So now prosecutors in one county in California cracking down on drug pushers, filing murder charges against suppliers tied to fentanyl overdose deaths. This is Riverside County. The DA's Mike Hestrin, he's behind all of this, said to be the first prosecutor in California to get a guilty verdict in a fentanyl-related homicide trial. Uh, he's with me now. Sir, good morning. You have charged 34 people so far. Your county, what? It's uh, the eastern edge of L.A., out to Palm Springs. And how is this effort? That's right. Yeah. How, how do you think it could change things, sir? Well, first of all, we're, we're facing a crisis. Fentanyl is flooding into our our county and all across Southern California is coming in the form of counterfeit pills and powder that's finding itself into all other drugs. And so, you know, we have, it's, our community is being devastated. Uh, as recently as 2016, we had two fentanyl related deaths. In 2023, we had 525. And so we are responding to a crisis, first of all. So, you know, I believe strongly that people who peddle this poison, and that's what it is, it's a poison, uh, should be held accountable for those deaths. And so we've charged people with murder under uh, what's ca called implied malice in California. And it's a law that's been used for decades to deal with people who drive drunk and kill someone. And so it's, it's been confirmed by the California Supreme Court. We are taking this model and applying it to the, the furnishing and the dealing of this deadly poison fentanyl. Well, so I'm really curious about how you, you go after the pushers, practically speaking. Uh, do, do you work through the victims to track them down? We do. So we're partnered with our police agencies. Our sheriff's department has created a, a task force. We investigate in this county, we investigate every single fentanyl related death as a potential homicide. And so not all of them are, are murders. Some of them are manslaughters. But I think the, the, the point is clear. We want the message to go out to those who deal and those who furnish this poison that you're going to be held accountable in this county. You're going to be held accountable for the, the people that you cut okay. down and the people that you kill. Listen, I, I, so I wish we, you all the success in the world on this. You know, California doesn't have a state law, right? So you're kind of working around that. And it's, right. some people right. are critical of you in your state saying, we tried this strategy back in the 1990s. There's no reason to go back to it. It's 2024. What would you say to them? I think that's nonsense. They like, to, they like to go back and say, well, this is just the failed war on drugs. And look, this is not the war on drugs. This is responding to specific cases of victims who are, be, who are being killed. That Many of them don't know they're taking fentanyl, of right? Course. They're buying a pill that have been produced with fentanyl. They think it's something else. Granted, they shouldn't be buying a pill, but they're, they're losing their life over, over taking half of a pill. They think it's an oxycodone or a Percocet. And the people that are doing this know exactly what they're doing and they're making money off it. And so for that, uh, they need to be held accountable. And so we're going to do everything we can under the law to, to bring justice to these families that are losing their loved ones. Okay, you're a 34 and, so, and counting, Mike. Good luck to you, all right? And, and if you are successful, you. you just might get the attention of Sacramento. Mike Hesterin, thank you for your time, the DA in Riverside County. Thanks.